Here's a demo of some of the many, many postures you can use on your soul seat. Um, the easiest way to get on the soul seat is just to back up to it, like it's a ball chair, and then spin forward. Um, and then you've got lots of different options uh, for your legs. It's, a, it's okay to sit on this, this cushion here. Um, we, we tend to discourage right on the edge of this, you know, one of the wings, because the, the soul seat gets a little tippy there. Um, once you're sitting on your perch, uh, one of the most popular postures is kneeling. And you can change the, depending on how flexible you are, you can put the soul seat all the way down. Uh, a lot of people like to have the perch up in its highest position for this. And when you're at this height, you can squat. There are not many chairs that, that let you squat and, and get your work done. Um, this is a, a lot of one of the favorite postures. And then as you uh, work your way deep into the squat, um, you can ease the perch lower and find yourself getting more and more flexible even as you work. Uh, once the perch is down, that makes uh, cross leg a little easier. And this we call the pinwheel to the right. And here's pinwheel to the left. And you can always have one leg on the floor or even both legs on the floor. There's no end and we welcome you to tell us positions you discover. Thanks.